How's it going? It's Shane Thomas, ready to show you another country classic on the acoustic guitar. This time, this video, we have a classic just to satisfy you by the legendary Waylon Jennings. This song's pretty easy to play and a whole lot of fun to play, and I can't wait to show you how to play it on the acoustic guitar. Now, before we get started, it's important to know this is another capo song, and if you want to play it you know, fairly easily where you don't have to make some crazy chords or anything. Use a capo. That's simply a device that you clamp down here on up and down the different parts of your guitar neck and changes the key. And that way you don't have to learn as many chords. And if you don't have a capo, don't worry about it. You can play the, the chords that I'm going to show you how to play. You just won't sound like the original Wayland Jennings recording. But so if you want to sound like the Wayland Jennings recording, Put your capo, if you got a capo, put it on the second fret and play these chords. I'm getting ready to show you how to play and you'll sound just like the record you strum along with old Waylon. All right, so five chords is what we need to know to play this song and you see them on your screen right now. And those are the A major chord, A major chord shape. Remember, we're using a capo, so it's not exactly the sound of an A major chord, but the A major chord shape. Then you're gonna go up to the G major chord shape. Then eventually you're gonna play the D major chord. Then the E major chord. And then there's a couple sections where you're playing the B major chord, which is not the easiest chord to make. I know that for sure. So that one's gonna be the hardest chord that we're gonna to have to play for this song. So again, that's A, G, D major, E major, and B major. And those are your five chords that you need to know to play this song. If you don't know how to play those chords, check out the links in the video description below because I'll show you how to play each and every one of these chords. All right, so those are your chords. Now what about the strum pattern? Down and up, simple down and up. song in your mind just keep time with it down and up okay so that's your strumming pattern that's your five chords that you need to learn how to play so now that you know all that let's play along with just to satisfy you by Waylon Jennings now that we know the five chords that we need to know how to play this song and we know the strumming pattern, let's play along with this song. As we play along with the song, check out the lyrics and chord changes above me here on the screen. And that way you know when to change of what chord at what particular point in the song. All right, so the song starts off with an intro. Now you wanna do this for basically two bars or eight beats, and, and or you can say one through four, two times, I'll show you what I'm talking about, and then Waylon starts singing. So. Let's start right here on the A-shaped chord. You can either put three fingers on there, like that, from the second fret from the capo, or you can put one finger down, whatever's easiest for you. But we're going to get that strumming pattern, get that groove going before we start singing. So it goes like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then up to G. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's your intro. So count one. switch from A to G. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's your intro and Waylon starts singing after you do those two chord changes. You go back here on the A major chord. Right here. This is where we're going to start. Someone's going to give me hurt up the G before you're through. job now we're going to go down to E and then up to the E major chord how many hearts must break how many will it take to satisfy you A to D just to satisfy you back to A good job that's your first verse so after that 
that first verse, now the hardest chord of this whole song, you're going to play the B major chord shape, which again is two frets from the capo. Okay, same strumming pattern though. So B major chord shape. Another love, another fool up to E to play your game. Back to B major. Another love, another fool to E. They're all the same. Great job. All right, so that's basically the whole song. And now we're going to go into verse number two. Verse number two, same chord, same strum patterns. Verse number one, we just add different words. So right here on the A chord, get that strum pattern down and up. Someone's gonna get hurt before you're through. Don't be surprised if that someone is you. Now the A, now it's D and E again. You're gonna find when it's too late a heart that just won't break. Satisfy you. A to D, just to satisfy you. All right, after that second verse, you're just gonna play the A.